running out of time. I said something and it went away too quick. I'm still recording. I can see that. Um, I don't like all this beeping happening. Oh, there's my time. Seven minutes. Oh. I went up to seven minutes. And I'm still recording this time. Maybe I've got it restarting now. Maybe it's just dividing it up. I, I've just really I got my magnifying glass and I can see now. There's my time and my record time, but I don't have. That's fine. Record time's good. But that beeping must have been about out right about that six and three quarter minutes that I've been getting before. Time in space. Only thing is the screen's only four inch, so uh, it's hard to. I can't really read any of it without a magnifying glass. And I've got glasses, uh, <laughs> dime store glasses, dollar store glasses, and ma magnifying glass to read it. But uh, but you can get get the best definition that you can get this way. So as long as you don't put your finger in front of the lens like that. That's easy to do. So, I think I'll go around the room again. I haven't done that in a while. And I do believe the autofocus is working. It seems like it does do that. So, that's a good thing. So, as the light changes into where you're at, it seems to do fairly well. I have everything on auto, uh, except for the, you know, of course, the frames per second and uh, all that kind of stuff. But the focus and the light and all that is on auto. I mean, since you're, you, things are going to change, you know, quite a bit when you're making a video. You really need you need to do it. That's the easiest way to do it. You're not going to get a good video on a phone with <coughs> or a cheap camera unless you. You're not going to get a good video. I used to have an expense. Uh, had a, I had bought it on auction for 350 bucks. It was a studio, TV studio camera, and in about 1990, it cost $10,000 brand new. That was a cool camera. It was a real camera, and uh, you had to white balance it. You said, well, you had an auto white balance, or you could manual white balance. You had to do a lot of you know, set up and. You could do manual or there wasn't a lot of auto, but there were some things that were auto. And uh, if you were staying in the same what, room, uh, in the same lighting, then you, you know manual was good. But if you're like changing lights and all that stuff, then you need some help there. Are you really gonna have a bad video? So anyway, that was back in analog video days. Actually, I got that thing in about '97, '98. I might have got it in 96, something like that, and I sold it in uh, 2000. And yeah, I did too. I got $1,500 for it. I sold it online, so shipped it down to a cable. I shipped it down to South Texas, and they supposedly took it to a cable studio in uh, Mexico. Old Mexico. So uh, I was pretty. Missed that thing, though. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Of course, it wasn't as high. Uh, wasn't as high. It was a seven, oh, 750 lines of resolution. They measured things a bit differently then, but it would have been 480, what we'd call 480p. Now, I guess uh, I don't know if it'd even be p, because p is supposed to be better than. But it would be 720, uh, 640 by 480 screen screen resolution, and this is uh, 1080 by. I've already forgot. I was just looking at it. So anyway, out of a little bitty, just a little over four inch little thin thing, little pocket computer. That's why I got it. Oh yeah, and I gotta say that again. Fourteen dollars and eighty-eight cents at Wally World. Can't beat that. All right. Bye.